Hey everyone, so um, my no makeup look <laughs> and it's coming out. It's coming out. It, this, it, I've had like three giant hairballs um, sitting there. What my son was like, I was on the phone and I went like this and it was like this chunk. I was like, and he's, oh, we're both like, <laughs> anyway, so it's happening. My hair is truly falling out. I've got these bad girls back here waiting for me. Um, I seriously thought it was going to be um, after my second treatment, but I have a feeling I'm not gonna make it through the weekend of, uh, I think I'm gonna have to shave my head this weekend. Uh, today's only Thursday, so it could happen tomorrow, it could happen Saturday. Um, but I wanna talk about something. My hair follicles hurt and I, someone had told me that my hair follicles would hurt and it feels like, you know, ladies, when you wear your hair in a top knot for like 12 hours and then you take it down and then, and then everything, ugh, it just like aches kind of coming down. Well, times it by like 20 times that achiness in my hair follicles by like 20 and that's what this feels like right now <sighs> anyway I don't know what I'm gonna do I might I might cut off like that many inches right now just turn upside down give myself a shag <laughs> see what happens but yeah so anyway this is I'm recording this is part of my journey right now <sighs> okay I flipped upside down I cut my hair a bit <laughs> into a shag I'm afraid to touch it. <laughs> I feel like I just need it to last like two more days. Or at least until I get to, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm having thoughts that keep popping into my mind of fearless beauty. Fearless beauty. It's like fearless action. Five F words. Fearless beauty. That's what I need to do. And, um, you know, all of us, you know, all the women that lose their hair and men that lose their hair, and some men, they don't even regain their hair back, so at least I'm going to. Um, it's like, no matter what, it's like, we, it's, it's not about my hair. It's not about my hair. I think it's about the process of, of, of the process, right? The, of like the chemicals going into my body, the chemicals killing, any cancer that's left in there and the, and the chemicals also killing everything else. That's what this is about. It's like, it, that's the hard part of like something like that is actually doing all of this that I was told was going to happen is actually happening, but sooner than I anticipated. So I think that's the hard part about it. It's not like I'm attached to my hair. I do hair extensions. I've got wigs. I've got like all of this that doesn't really matter in the end. What matters is what's in here, the health, right? So um, anyway, I just, um, my friend Kathleen Leonard, she called me the other morning after my last post um, of, about the hair thinning. And she's like, girl, you shave that when it starts coming out. You do not give it power. You do not give that cancer power. You don't give the chem, like just get rid of it. Do not let it have that energy. And I was like, <laughs> now I'm like, okay, well, that day is coming. That day is coming. And I think that day is coming like tomorrow oh, or Saturday. I don't know. Um, anyway, I want to know, I just want you guys to know, like, I don't know. It's just, I'm basically just sharing the story because I know that there's women and men out there that are going through this and I just want to bring awareness that you are not alone. Um, I'm with you and this is new to me too. And, um, you know, and if you're about to go through it or if you've already gone through it, thank you for being the warrior that you are, you know, and, and, you know, I'm a warrior and, and this is what we're doing. And it's just bringing a whole new light to mine and my family's life and, and what's really important. And, um, damn, I hope I look good bald. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wear makeup for sure. Anyway, I feel you. I love you. Thank you.